Since 1984, Newsweek has put a team in the field that is apart from the magazine. They, we detach three, four, five reporters, and they go to cover the uh, presidential campaigns, and they say, we will not print a word of what we get in our notebooks until the votes are cast. It allows us to get inside in a way that is unusual, and I think we did that again this time. It's kind of a relief. It doesn't really feel real right now. You know, I've been holding all this stuff in for a very long time and being very careful about who I say what to. And now it it's, feels really good to be able to see the story uh, have the light of day. Because of that arrangement, the uh, campaigns are more open with these reporters, give them more access than they would for a daily or a weekly or monthly reporter. It can make for a very lonely experience. You know, luckily I have a, a wonderful wife at home uh, who I called at every opportunity. And I, I also, one of my sort of coping mechanisms was I found that it was much easier for me to talk to and sort of hang out with either photographers or some of the camera crews, people like that who aren't, aren't doing the same kind of reporting that I'm doing. And, and I didn't need to worry so much about, uh, be, be so hyper-cautious about you know, saying the wrong thing or letting something slip. People who've been around presidential politics for a long time, they're all very aware of the Newsweek project. They're all very aware of the brand. They've read the projects in the past. I mean, some people had had bad experiences. Steve Schmidt, for example, the chief strategist over at the McCain campaign, r was very unhappy with how he was portrayed in the 2004 book. So he was a little cagey with me at first, and it took me a long time to gain his trust. But... Um, so there are people who had mixed reviews. I remember when I was considering do it, doing it, I went and talked to several people who had done the project before me just to try to get a sense of what I was in for. And they all talked about, you know, it being, it, how difficult it can be sometimes because, because of the rules that we're operating under where all of our reporting is embargoed. You can't talk about the reporting that you're doing, the, you know, the things that you're learning. I really wanted to do this well, and I really didn't want anything to leak because the, the, the relationships with the aides was built on trust and built on them trusting me to not leak anything. So it really wasn't a temptation to talk to the other reporters because I, didn't, I, I did not want to destroy those relationships before the project was over.